Hi, my name's Noah. I sing for Bad Omens, and you're watching The Buzz Artist Spotlight. Essentially, it started as a simple solo project I was doing in, I guess, my spare time. I was working in a tattoo shop full time, and I, I just loved making music. And I had recently quit the band I was playing guitar in back in Virginia, um, and this was like late 2013. Um, I'll try to make it short as possible. It's a very long story, <laughs> but um, basically, I quit that band and I started writing just material, like solo material, for myself. Um, recording it and I made you know an EP for this band under the different uh, a different band name and um, you know throughout that time Nick Raffillo here uh, our guitar player um, he was and still is obviously my best friend and um, he was the first person I guess that was part of the band when it, as it became a band you know because we realized once the EP was done and we got management and stuff which you know we seeked out um, that we needed a band, obviously, because it couldn't just be one guy. So, obviously, you know, my best friend played guitar by default, you know, in the band. Um, that's when he brought on board Vincent. Um, Vincent plays bass in Bad Omens. Um, and basically, you know, I didn't know Vincent very well at the time. We were just acquaintances, um, but Nick and Vincent both tattoo professionally. And that's how Nick knew him. And you know, once I got to know Vincent and found out he played bass and he wanted to be in the band, uh, we just clicked really, like, really well instantly as as friends and as musicians. You know, we shared a lot of similar tastes and and interests, and you know, even some like, you know, personal, private, like, you know, experiences and and you know, opinions, I guess. So we we got along really well, and it made for a good start to this band. And then that's when we realized we needed another guitar player. Uh, and that's when Vincent he reached out and told me about his best friend Joachim, who was playing guitar in a band called Her Bright Skies at the time, all the way in Sweden. Uh, which sounds, I guess, not very ideal to get a guitar player from another country, but Joachim sent us a bunch of music he had written, and you know he's a producer, so we had that in common. And he just also, same story as Vincent, he clicked really well with me as a person uh, and as a musician. So I just knew that he would bring value to the band and. To this day, I still think it's one of the best decisions this band made was getting Joachim on board despite his, you know, nationality because he's been such a huge help to the band as a songwriter. It yeah. It, yeah, it's definitely been like a, a huge struggle um, dealing with his paperwork and getting him uh, over here legally. <laughs> um, but it, it's been well-founded and for it, it was totally worth it. Absolutely. Um, at that point, all we needed was a drummer. And um, our manager at the time put us in contact with Nick Folio, uh, but the I guess the email thread kind of died out or something, and it got mixed up and lost. And there were a few other submissions, to, like uh, drum covers to to of the songs. Um, that's when Folio reached out to me like personally on Facebook and was like, "Hey, I didn't hear back, but here's my cover of your song." And you know, when we all saw the video, we just knew like he had to be in the band. Like he had a very cool, intense, unique, feral. <laughs> playing style is very animalistic and intense and that's exactly you know what I think we've all agreed we wanted this band to to represent and be like since day one so he immediately had a place in this band as a drummer and and keep in mind this is all before you know I even met Joachim or Folio which is very interesting um, you know and at this point we had the EP and a few other like rough songs that Joachim and I had made some stuff he made and so on and um, our manager was I guess shopping us to you know various record labels and when we got in contact with Sumerian and found out that they were interested it was just uh, you know an immediate like connection like because our manager had worked with them in the past uh, with other artists that he represented and they are just the greatest record label and he had nothing but great things to say about them you know and their team and their resources and obviously their work ethic 
Um, so again, you know, similar to the drummer situation, similar to Joachim, I, I felt, you know, confident and very strong that that was the label to be on and that was the decision to make. Um, so when they gave us a deal, we could not pass it up and that's when we signed to Sumerian. Um, shortly after we had to book studio time to record our full length album and, you know, we were going through producers and we decided on Will Putney because of his, you know, organic, raw, very intense, realistic sound that's not very digital and, and you know, this very digital metalcore age, I think, as far as, you know, production goes and mixes go. Um, and I guess that's how the band started, you know, at that point we started recording the album and that's, that's kind of when it really started getting intense and, and crazy. Um, the video, we, I don't think we really had a specific concept in mind, we just, we, we really wanted to do something, you know, pretty and captivating and artistic and and you know visually stimulating yeah just uh, just like the song itself um oh sure um the song itself is uh a loose concept based around darren aronofsky's uh 2006 film the fountain um i had seen that movie many years ago when it first came out and i was intensely moved by it and uh when noah and i became as well acquainted as we are currently uh, I, I shared that with him and he had a very similar experience and um, when Joachim our guitar player from Sweden had originally uh, written the instrumental for that track um, when we were in pre-production for the album uh, Noah and I were sitting there and he had these lyrics that they they were perfect uh, they, they were absolutely perfect to kind of turn into a uh, our, our own little ode to the fountain, and that that's that's where that came from. And uh, that being said, uh, what we tried to do artistically in the video was a loose portrayal of the film, in a sense. It's that entire song, the entire video is is a is a love letter to <laughs> the fountain and Darren Aronofsky. So um, we were really pleased with the result. Um, and I, I'm sure for anyone who's familiar with the videos for The Worst in Me, Exit Wounds, and Glass Houses, you know, we wanted to do something a little different and something dynamic to showcase that we are more than just like, oh, here's our faces, we're playing music, awesome. You know, we, we, we wanted something that really, that, that wouldn't have worked with the fountain. That absolutely wouldn't have. So we're really pleased with uh, how incredible that came out, absolutely. I think we wanted to just do something very mature and tasteful for that video because the song itself has a very, you know, bold and, and mature fe uh, feel to it, you know, and it's very atmospheric and it's very, you know, I guess elegant in a sense and especially it's very regal, you know, towards the climax of the song and we just had to have a video that matched that, so that's, that's the found video. <laughs> um, our album comes out tomorrow, August 19th, our debut full length, uh, it's self-titled Bad Omens. Um, we're playing a few shows around California to promote the album, spread awareness about the album. And then we're pretty much off all of September, I believe. And around the middle of October, we're going out on our third Sumerian Records anniversary tour. It's called Sumerian 10 Years in the Black. Um, the headliner is Asking Alexandria, uh, Born of Osiris, I See Stars, After the Burial, Upon a Burning Body, and Us. Um, it's about six weeks long. It's full U.S. tour. Um, there's even a couple Canada dates, which I'm very excited for because I love Canada. We actually, on the last tour, we went to Canada and and Nick and Nick and myself bought beer there because, well, obviously Nick's 21, but Folio and I are not 21 yet, and we bought beer in Canada because the drinking age is 19. 20 yeah, we were in Canada for 20 minutes before we had a Buffalo show in New York, and we were so close to Canada, we we're like, let's just go to Canada, and we parked in New York and walked across the bridge with our passports and just walked in and had a beer and enjoyed the, the falls and then came back to the U.S. So so right now at, at that point, um, that is pretty much all we have going on for the rest of this year. Next year, there's talk of a really big tour that may or may not be overseas. Uh, don't quote me on it, but it's something that we're pushing for. Um, that's about it for now. We, we were pretty much just a, a, a circle of friends really enjoyed tattoos oh yeah I mean he mentioned earlier Vincent and myself tattoo professionally so um, we, we've we've got quite the hookup and uh, quite a lot of friends within that realm so 
Oh my God, Black Anvil Tattoo, best best tattoo shop. Mike Moses, he's given all of us sleeves aside from Folio and Joachim. Tony Talbert, he's he's from our same area in Virginia. And Matthew Licker, tat, uh, Vincent's tattoo mentor. So we're we're very involved with tattoos. Um, it just really fit the the dynamic we we're going for. Yeah, I'd like to make a note that we are we are not a band that just got tattoos because they look cool, and that's what every band looks like these days. Uh, we have all been very brought up in you know tattoo shops and the tattoo industry, and it's something that we're all very passionate about. And Nick, Nick, and Vincent, yeah, Richmond's like a tattoo capital, I think, and third most tattooed in the country where we're from. And you know, Nick and Vincent and I, and also in Folio, we've driven. 12 hours to get tattooed by like select tattoo artists you know so it's something that we are also very passionate about it's not just like oh this looks cool it's like it's it's collecting artwork yeah so it's, it's cool what can you expect um well you know we all uh is it's it's not the best quality but we all struggle you know with anxiety and you know depression and a few other like i guess health issues i myself in particular and it, it sometimes it makes for uh, kind of a negative environment before a show but every show you know it's I get really nervous and I even want to throw up sometimes but as soon as I walk on the stage it's like it's the only place that I feel home and I think that I think we all share that you know it's I I'm a very naturally introverted socially awkward person Nick too especially um, Nick Folio is a social butterfly so he helps introduce us to people on the road but um, you know it's the one place I feel comfortable so you know yeah. For all of us, you know, I, I think that uh, performing music and writing music are two entirely different things. The performance of music in itself is very cathartic for all of us. And I, I think that when you come to a Bad Omen show, the intensity that we have on stage rivals, you know, like crazy bands from the 90s and stuff like that. That's what we try to pull out on stage. You know while still performing solid and not like messing up and like sounding all nuts but yeah absolutely uh social media um all of our social medias and our website is bad omens official you know facebook.com slash bad omens official instagram slash bad omens official.com is our website uh the only thing that's not is twitter that's bad omens music but that is probably the best place to reach us if you have a question about a show or you need help or you know something's going on and you have a question about like you know a, an issue with an order or customer service anything related to the band that's probably the fastest place to get a response versus you know email or Facebook um, but we do our best to actively check all the other social networks as well but I guess my best uh, my best advice would be to follow us on Twitter and Facebook because that's where you can contact us and that's where you get good news from I'm Nick Folio and I play drums I'm Nick Raffello and I play guitar I'm Noah Sebastian and I sing I'm Vincent Riquier, I play bass, you've just been buzzed. <laughs>